The same with everything that God provided for us. He wants us to look after the things, and so he entrusted the earth to us as humans. So we should look after the earth. Then he also entrusted something else to us. He entrusted to, unto us friendships and relationships. And you know, when God has given you a friend and entrusted unto you a certain person, don't so easily give up on those people when they do not come right immediately. We do that. And then we wash our hands and we say, I've done what I could do. Now I give them to the Lord. Now the Lord gave them to you, but now you give them back to the Lord. The Lord has given you the ability to look after a friend and need. The Lord has given you the ability to encourage that friend. But now, after a while, you get a little bit fed up with this person, not want to come right. Now you give up and you say, I, I've given him to the Lord now. And that's also, I've given him to the Lord now. Really? But God has given him to you. But now you want to give him back to the Lord. No. You should do everything that you can. And sometimes these people, God will give to you for a long time in your life to look after. But then the responsibility grows too big. And you realize all of a sudden, Shoo! I thought ministry is easy. You see, when God gives you a child, that child, stay your child till the, day, till the day you lay down your head. That's what I say. God has given you the earth and all its fullness to look after and to manage. Then God has given you relationships. God sometimes entrusts a person to you. And you need to help that person in a time of need. Till that time person is through the time of difficulty. But some Christians, they, oh, you know, all Christians want to be in ministry. They want to be used of God. They want to be in ministry. But the moment it gets too tough and this person becomes too high maintenance, we want to give him back to God. But God has invested his ability in you, his love and his patience in you. And whenever you need something more to help this person, you just ask of God because God's got resources that will never come to an end. Now you need to help this person. And that's what I pray for you for grace. We quickly give up on our responsibility. It's wonderful to do a spiritual course. It's wonderful to do some course. And then you put it into practice and you're excited in the beginning. But then the responsibility grow too big for you. And you say, no, no, no. I had enough now. And then you stand back. And that's not good. Because when God has given you a certain responsibility, you should pull it through. So God entrusts a certain person to me. I want to help him. I feel sorry for him. And in the beginning, I help him. But then, the help becomes too much of a burden for me, to me. Then I want to give him back to God. That's the old saying of Christians. I have given him back to God. You should help that person till he's out of that problem. Or till God says to you, okay, this is now enough. Many Christians start off well. It's not how you start anything in life, my friend. It is how you end the things that you started. That is what make you who you are. And that is forming character. Because patience and endurance is shaping and forming your character into the person God wants you to be. For me, there's no giving up on my responsibilities. I cannot. There's many nice things I can do in this life. But I'm busy with the responsibility that Jesus has given me. And I need to pull this through and go on end out in the name of Jesus and help the people that God trusted to me. Then secondly, we got our children. I've got many spiritual children. Then I got children of flesh and blood of mine that will always be my responsibility till the day I leave this earth. They will be my responsibility to certain extents. Obviously, later on when they mature, they look after themselves. But they will still be my spiritual responsibility to pray for them and see that they are fine. You get spiritual children as well. I've got many spiritual children. My spiritual children is as important as my own children. I need to look after them. I need to pray for them. I need to make sure they're fine. You see, we speak about management now. 
God has made us managers. God didn't make us to fly solo. God made us team people. And sometimes we need to draw back and go and spend time with God. But then we need to go out and give to people what we received in our inner room from God. You see, what you receive from God is not to be held for yourself, not to be kept for yourself. You, when I go into my prayer closet, I receive from God what I need to receive. Then when I receive from God, I go out to the people, I give it to the people like I give to you this morning in Jesus' name. I give to you what God has given me in my prayer closet. Now I give it to you to encourage you and to uplift you. But now you should follow my example and do the same with the people that God entrusts to you. Amen? You should only draw back to go and receive from God. Do not leave people and say, okay, I'm done with this person. I'm, I'm now done. I may, he must now go on on his own. Not so quickly. Till the person is through his difficult time, he remain your responsibility. You need to keep on praying for that person in Jesus' name. Today we get a lot of people in life very careless. They don't worry about other people. They only see what they can benefit out of other people. And when they see they cannot benefit out of these people, and the excitement and the joy of starting it vanish, they stop it. So I look at people. They all want the anointing of God. They all want to be in ministry. Till the first responsibilities comes. You know, you will ne never get away from ministry. Because every born-again Christian, every single Christian, got a ministry. It's not only me. I'm here to look after you, to equip the saints for their work of ministry. But you are there to look then after others so that you can live out your ministry. You should be responsible. Remember Cain, when God asked him, where is your brother Abel? And then he asked this question, am I my brother's keeper? Very sarcastically towards God Almighty. Am I my brother's keeper? I want to declare to you this morning, you are your brother's keeper. Pastor, we're in the lockdown now. How can I look after my brother? You got a cell phone. You got social media. You got Facebook. You got all these things. Look after your brother. Am I my brother's keeper? Am I my sister's keeper? Yes, you are your sister's keeper. You are your brother's keeper. I am here to equip you so that you can go and do your work of ministry. Minister to your family members. Minister to your children. Minister to your friends. And minister to anyone that God has laid on your heart to minister to. And the people that God bring across your path in the name of Jesus. Amen. God is good. Give him a great hand. Amen.